When you start SEO, it looks like this. It's uh, overwhelming. There are so many things, so many theories, so many roads you can take, and it is a little bit uh, a labyrinth. So in order to make it uh, more clear for you to understand, you have to learn how the entire process works. What happens when you type a search in the search box? And it goes like this. So it starts with a search query. You search for something. And of course, uh, this uh, you have noticed, I don't know if you, if you realize that, but Google is trying to satisfy your query in the very moment you type the first letter. You type something, you already have results there, which are previous queries of previous users, right? So it, it tells you, he, yes, Google, he, for me is, is he. He tells you, maybe you are looking for this, and maybe you are, maybe you are not, but from the very first letter, Google is trying to satisfy your intention. Then you eventually write or click or type your query and then you hit the, the enter. And then what happens is that the search engine, oh, by the way, I say Google, but this is the same with every search engine, so just uh, Google biased. Uh, the search engine tries to understand what it is that you are looking for. And this is not just uh, a matter of keywords. It used to be a matter of keywords, but today search engines are very, very smart. They actually try, there is a, a new old algorithm in, in Google which is called uh, blank, I don't remember, rank brain, rank brain, rank brain, sorry, rank brain. And this is a, an uh, AI, artificial intelligence, which is trying to understand, to guess even if the, the search query have, has never been seen from, by Google, the, this algorithm is trying to guess uh, what is that you want to know, okay? And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, there were like even big problems with that. But I think is that uh, there is a, a whole part of the algorithm that is processing your query and it spends a lot of computer time trying to understand. Again, remember that the, the purpose is to give you meaningful results. So for example, if I type black shoes, right? I'm looking for shoes. Do I want to buy or do I want to just see shoes? Are these sports shoes or I'm going to a wedding? And of course, Google doesn't know. But based on uh, things like my previous searches and other things like location, time of the year, whatever it is, they can guess what is that I'm looking for. So if I was in the previous grade, I was looking for uh, football shirts, and then I, I write black leather shoes, which are another, another page, another tab, another totally different query, probably I'm gonna get football shoes, not wedding shoes, because, because they are trying to understand what the hell I want, okay? Try it, try it when you go home, try it. What happens next? When Google understood, or thinks underst that he understood what it is that you want, is going to retrieve the, the pages in the index. So there is one thing which is called index. Anybody knows about the index? No? I want to. I'm many shy, I think. So the index is a big uh, catalog where all the pages are stored, the, the information about the pages. So a search engines uh, work uh, into, there are two components. One is called the crawler, which is a, a, a program, a, a robot, which is going through every page in the internet and uh, gathering information about the page, about the structure of the website, and all these kind of things. All these pages which are visited, they are put in a box which is called index, okay? Now, in order for you to rank 
you have to be in the index because if you are not in the index, there is no way that you are popping up as a, as a search result, okay? So your first worry when you do SEO, when you build a website, should be to end up in the index, okay? Now, assuming you are in the index, this happens. Your page might be considered good for satisfying the search query, okay? So among those that have been retrieved, they are filtered. So there are other criteria which are used to decide which pages should go in the results and in which order, okay? You also have clustering there. So some page pages are clustered. And by the way, when you have this clustering phenomenon, it doesn't matter on which page it is, but when it happens, it gives some kind of uh, trust to your pages because when you start to see three or four results of the same website all in a row, you just think, oh, this must be good. There are four results. And <laughs> you, I mean, you see it, it pops out. So clustering is a very good thing. Last step is ranking. So this is where the technical SEO comes out. All the things that you have probably heard, like uh, metadata, title, uh, keywords, they, they come here. Now keywords, it, it is also uh, used to understand what is the, the topic, but today, again, search engines are very, very smart. So for ranking, for example, for whatever, pick a query, a topic, you don't even need to have the keywords. If, uh, for example, I'm not using keywords uh, in my piece of content, but I have a bunch of links that are linking to my piece of content, and in the links are the keywords, the search engine can understand that that piece of content has to rank for those keywords. So it's very complicated. You, you, never, you can never guess how these results are coming. Okay, now if we have to optimize our pages and our process, because it's not just the page, it's the whole process from, from thinking how do we make content, if we have to optimize it, where do you think that we can act in these five points? Now is the part where you start blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So where, where can I go to, to tweak something, to, to make it like work for me? Yeah, but which, which one of these phases? Want to try? Come on, it's easy. So you can't really do anything on the search query. This is the user typing and there's nothing. And you can't really do nothing on understanding. This is Google trying to understand what's going on, right? So SEO, we do by acting on, on these three things, okay? So we have no control whatsoever of what happens before, but we can try to influence what happens in here. And uh, so first thing, retrieving, you must be in the index. So you have to make them sure that when you make a new page, or if you have a website and you are not sure if you are indexed, do it now, just uh, you write site, uh, colon, and then the name of your website, and you get all the list of uh, pages that Google has about your website. If it's empty, you are not in the index, okay? Uh, if you make a new page, you have to make sure that goes in the index. The quickest way to do that, to have it indexed, is to share it on Facebook. <laughs> Anyone else? No. Well, that's another thing. I'm talking about social media. Google Plus. So if you share it on Google+, no matter which account, it's indexed immediately, 
it goes immediately in the index. Filtering and clustering. So we, for that, we need our content, the, the, our pages, we need them to be relevant to the search query. So as we discussed before, you have to, to choose a bunch of keywords, a, a topic, or at the very least, on which you're going to, to write about. And uh, this ends up in giving you a chance to get chosen for that particular set of keywords. And then in the very end, uh, there is all the technical SEO that we can try to do as best as we can, so that when we are chosen to be in the search uh, engine result pages, we have a chance to go up because we have good pages, okay? Now, how to do SEO? You start like this, oh my God. <laughs> 